father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys about Vita Shell and exactly what is it. And this is going to be a PlayStation Vita homebrew guide. And this is something new that I'm going to be implementing on my channel. Um, Recently, I noticed that a lot of people have, or of course, hacked their device on the latest firmware, which is 3.71 and 3.72. And I always get a ton of questions like, what is Vita Shell? What can I do with it? And stuff like that. So I think it's appropriate as of this time since a lot of people just came into the scene and have no idea a lot of these homebrews um i wanted to make instead of just a straight up tutorial and installation guide i want to go more in depth in terms of what you can do in these programs and some of the theft tools and also um some cool features you could do once you have a hacked vita so i do recommend if you do like this video, please let me know in the comment section down below and also by leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button, I could kind of see, you know, the reception of how this video, excuse me, not video, but this video is getting. With that being stated as well, I do highly recommend if you don't already have a hacked PlayStation Vita, as of right now, as September 6, 2019, you can hack your Vita on the latest firmware. So if you own 3.71 or 3.72 firmware, even going all the way back to 3.65, you can use H Encore 2 and hack your Vita on the latest exploit. So I highly re recommend that you guys go ahead and hack your Vita device. As well, once you hack your device, I also highly recommend that you downgrade your device from 3.72 back to 3.60 or 3.65 using um via this method as showcased here on the screen. So the cool thing about downgrading your device you could run you know Hankaku Enzo and this is allows basically Hankaku Enzo to run permanently on your system or Hankaku on your system so you won't always have to go use apps like H on core or the Trinity exploit and always enable Hankaku every time you boot up your system it's kind of like custom firmware you automatically um, will have hand at boot all that fun stuff getting out the way as well I do recommend to go ahead and check out my social medias and go ahead and follow them so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel as well um by hitting that notification button and subscribe to me you already know when i drop my latest content and as well by following me on twitter especially um, that's when I let everyone know when I drop my latest um, videos or if I have any ideas for my channel. So that's why I recommend that my supporters go ahead and follow me via there if you want to know your latest hacking guides and tutorials. If you also want to go ahead and join my official community, I recently made a Discord not too long ago. And you can join via in the link that is showcased on the screen right now or you check down in the link in the description below. Not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding community, you can also get the latest hacking guides for your favorite console or you can also get the support for your favorite console so if you have any questions about this topic or you know Hikaku Enzo or even if it's for the PlayStation 4 PS3 and all that fun stuff and even the Nintendo Switch you could go ahead and in my discord channels I have support channels so if you have any questions you could join via for that reason as well i recently made a patreon so if you want to support my channel in any shape or form you can feel free to join on patreon and sign up and that's how you could support my channel and you could donate like a dollar a month to me or even you know two or three dollars it doesn't have to be an astronomical amount but it will help with the overall development for my channel so i will have the official link where you could join my um you know patreon in the link in the description below or you could just type in it that um url link via showcase on the screen if you also want to support my channel in any shape or form you can feel free to donate via my paypal any of that money that i may receive from my fans and supporters will go straight back into my channel it will help me buy things such as better equipment software tools anything of that nature and it helps with the overall development for my channel so i can grow and i can provide the best content for you guys to watch with all that fun stuff getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on the prerequisites for the PlayStation Vita and anything that I state will be in the download description below. So of course, if you already have a modded PlayStation Vita that's already using, um, you know, the H on Core 2 exploit, you could do this. Or if you just have a general hack device, whether if you're using the Trinity, Hankaku, um, you know, H on Core, Hankaku, Enzo, as long as you could, you know, run, you know, unsigned code or homebrew, you can do this process. And as well, if you have a 1000 model, of course, you 
you need a memory card for this but if you have a playstation um vita that is a slim aka the 2000 model or a ps tv you could just use the one in gig or excuse me one gigabyte of internal memory to get vita shell to install and of course you'll need vita shell for this process and you can install it via with um those exploits so if you're using the original hikaku method i'll have the vpk that you can install with molecular shell but um if you're using h on core trinity exploit all of those exploits they already um have vita shell that you can install embedded within those programs so all you would have to do is just run h on core or the trinity exploit and then install vita shell that way but with all that fun stuff um getting out the way in terms of the prerequisites um if you're into more of the dev side of things we're going to go ahead and talk about partitions in vita shell so stuff like ur0 and ux0 i will have basically a showcase of the dev wiki scrolling on the screen right now in the video so i will have a that um link in the description below if you want to know more of the developer side of things if you're a developer but you probably already know more about that or if you're just interested in type of like in type of that type of content you could go ahead and check out the developer wiki for the vita stuff but there's some disclaimers that um i want to go ahead and state right now so um as I stated before, you can install Vita Shell with Trinity, HN Core, HN Core 2, or with another VPK from another file manager. So if you have TF Card plugin or SD to Vita, you can install uh, you know, Vita Shell that way. But I just want to go ahead and give a special thanks out to one of my um, you know, close friends and also um one of my supporters in my Discord, TCB. He's always helped me with a lot of things. So shouts out to you. Thank you guys, or thank you for you know even giving me this idea to even showcase on my channel. So thank Thank you tcb and but with all that fun stuff getting stated out the way don't forget to feel free to join my discord and if you need any um help or support you that's what the discord's for but with all that fun stuff getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita as showcased here. And I'm assuming that you already have Vita Shell installed since I already taught you guys in the intro on how to install it. And as well in the link in the description below, I already provided the um, latest version of the VPK. So assuming that you already have Vita Shell installed onto your system, we're gonna just go ahead and open it up like a normal program. So if you have to use um, you know, the HN Core to exploit or the Trinity exploit, go ahead and run that. But I don't have to do that since I am on UX0. Um, excuse me, not UX0, but I'm on uh, Hankaku Enzo, and I don't have to basically run Hankaku at boot since I'm downgraded, but this is Vita Shell in itself in its entirety, and this is how it usually looks, or basically um, how it looks on my end. If you're wondering why my theme is blue versus why it's not black, um, the way on how to change that, if you guys are wondering, is going into the start for settings, scrolling all the way down to theme, and as you see the theme, I could do the default one, so if I switch to default, and then if I back out of Vita Shell, go back into it you're going to see that your vita show is basically the normal black that you will see if you first time um you that you booted into it um what that getting out the way i guess i already taught you just now on how to set your themes and stuff like that we're going to be focusing on some cool things on what you can do in vita shell and you know some of you know the partitions so the partitions that we're going to be focusing on today mainly is just ux0 ur0 and uma0 so if you have a s3 to vita and you already have that set up uma0 is just basically extended storage so my ux0 is my sd to vita card and that's why um as you can tell my uh ux0 has way more content on it since i bought a sd card which is way cheaper than a real memory card but my uma0 is basically my original memory card and this was uh ux0 so uma0 is basically a secondary ux0 and it's extended storage and the cool thing about this let's say if you wanted to transfer files via into ux0 or uma0 into a certain directory all you would have to do is hit start go into your usb device and that's where your files are going to transfer uh, to that original location so let's say if you want to put your games on uma0 
and you already know you had UMA0 set to your memory card, then all your files will transfer over your memory card. Let's say if you have SD to Vita, basically your USB device will set to your SD to Vita and that's where your files will transfer over. Speaking of transferring, and I'll get into that right now, um, the select button, this is how you can transfer files. So if you have a USB cable, you can just connect your PC to your um, Vita and you can connect via this way with USB. And then all you would have to do is hit select on your system. I'm not gonna do that since I'm streaming right now and it basically messes up the stream if I try to use the USB connection. However, if you're trying to do files with an FTP client or any FTP client choice and transfer files over your internet connection you can also do that as well there are some cool other features you can do with in Vita shell itself um you can also uh, from here you can mount usb games in ux0 you can unmount ums you or basically uma0 so you can unmount it so now it's just not showing my memory card itself so it's just only showing my sd to Vita right here if you unmount it you can also mount your uma0 so if you have like a flash drive or something like that on the PSTV and you're trying to use an extended storage, you could do it via that way as well. Um, some other things we could be focusing on in Vita Shell, if we go into our UX0 partition right here, which is basically your memory card, then I'm going to show you guys on where a lot of your files are located. So in your app folder right here, this is where all your homebrew and games are located. So for example, if you go ahead and hit triangle over your games and open the crypt, and then go into SCE underscore system and icon zero PNG, you could tell what game it is depending on the icon, or you could just check the param.sfo and it'll tell you the game you already have on your system. So here is Legend of the Skyfish. And if I back out of Vita Shell, you can see that I have Legend of the Skyfish on here just for an example so if you also go into vita show as well there are some other cool things you could do such as if i scroll all the way down to picture or if i take my uh screenshots so let's say if i want to take a screenshot of uh my dashboard or not dashboard but my uh live area i just took one right now what i could do if i go back into vita show scroll into ux0 go into my pictures go to screenshot you'll see all the screenshots I took so let me go ahead and try to find it so here's a screenshot I took for one of my thumbnails you can see all of the um, screenshots I've taken on my video so here's the one I just took just now and with that uh, you know being stated out the way I just showed you guys on how to you know get your screenshots out from here so if you go into your pictures you can see if you took any pic uh, cameras or basically pictures on your cameras you can view it from there um, some other cool things you could see in UX0 as well is your tie folder and this is where all of your configs go at so all your config txts and plugins and stuff like that are belonging into tie and your zero has that as well so this is where your um plugins are located via on vita shell itself so if you want to you know install any plugins they'll belong into this folder right here I'm trying to cover some other stuff where you say you or where you see user at and if you go to zero 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 this is where all your save data is located so let's say if you have some game save data that you want to manually back up um you what you need to do is just you could just select all of them by hitting square hitting triangle and you could copy them to another lo file location or you could transfer them via with usb or a you know files a little ftp client method or on any way on how you want to transfer them so i show you guys um where your save data is located um your trophy images this is not your actual trophies that is located somewhere else but you can see all of your trophy images for your certain games and stuff so Speaking of trophies, I think I covered most of the cool stuff you can do in UX0 itself. Let's say if you wanted to, I don't know, view a picture in, um, whatchamacallit, in VitaShell, you could do that just by uh, viewing any random picture. I was using this picture for one of my thumbnails. Uh, if you guys have been watching on my channel on how to transfer files via with a USB cable. So you could view pictures in uh, VitaShell as well. 
don't think I have any music. Oh, but yeah, that's one cool feature as well. You can play music on to your uh, system. So I actually don't have this turned on right now since I don't want to have copyright issues. But you can listen to MP3s and stuff like that onto your PlayStation Vita. Also, you can kind of like toggle and make a playlist. So it can be like a little media hub as well. So that's one of the cool things you can do on your Vita and within UX0. One thing uh, your Zero has to hold for us, it basically keeps all of our like PSN data, and a lot of our contacts, and a lot of our just app metadata and self too. So if you have any app data, it shows like the icon Zero PNGs and stuff like that. So here's the Maduro uh, app PNG. If I scroll here, here's one for a game. And such and so forth so i know this one is for trophy hacks right here so you can see some of your icons for your uh, live area bubbles which is pretty cool um speaking of trophies or the tie config we could focus on that later but here is if you go into user or your zero user zero 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 trophy this is where all of your trophies are located at so if i go into my trophy app right here let me go ahead and open it up. You're gonna see basically the trophies match up. So if I go into PSV the system, you can see that I only have these five trophies that I showcased that I platinum here. If I go into here and wanted to back up my trophies, go to config, and depending on what game it is, you're gonna see on my trophy icon that matches up with that. And if you go to the trope.sfm folder, you can see the title name of your game. Since these MPCOM IDs are basically just code names for the game itself, or just title IDs, I should say. So if you wanted to back up your trophies, they are located in this directory right here. Um, just some other stuff I'm trying to think. If you go into your uh, friends list or PSN friend, you can see kind of your friends list sometimes. It does error out. Um, if you have any messages and stuff like that, it keeps like a little message database itself, which is pretty cool as well. Um, there's some other cool things you can see in your um, Vita show, but that's pretty much the general consensus um, in terms of Vita show. One thing I do want to state in terms of partitions and all of that uh really do not mess with anything from vd0 vso ud0 tm0 sa0 or oso because d especially this one if you try to delete any files from here um this is basically going to break your system and this is how your system boots up so this is where like safe mode is located yeah like where it says safe mode itself this is how your vita boots in the safe mode and this is where um you know updates go into this folder as well and all that fun stuff but i think i did a pretty good job in explaining on some of the cool things you could do in vita show and basically it's just a homebrew that can um transfer files and view all of your partitions into vita show and you can install games within vita show and all that stuff so it's kind of more of a relaxed video um if you have any questions in terms of vita show itself or if you did like this video please be sure to leave a like please be sure to comment please be sure to you know leave any suggestions but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching Hey everyone, it's me Nagatoes Revenge here. I just want to give a big, big thank you to all of my fans and supporters out there. I know I always say it in every single video, but I just want to thank you guys for all of the support I've been receiving lately. I've been growing as a channel and I wouldn't even think hitting 1.7k subscribers. I'm on my way to 2k, so I just want to give y'all guys a big shout out. So I really, really do appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos and all of that type of stuff. So with that being said, I already know I did my closing out intro but i'll see you guys next time peace